Hi, this is Emma Wright with your authorbusiness.com. Today I'm going to show you live how you would take your book from a non-published state to a published state. But a few things to consider before we actually hit the publish button, and that is if your book is a children's book or it has many images in it, or even if you have a non-fiction book that has a lot of uh, complicated formatting, or if your formatting uh, includes charts and graphs, you may not want to just upload your book uh, as a dot .doc or a dot docx uh, as in a word format but you may have to go through the draft digital uh, way and i've actually done a video on this and you can take a quick look in my video you can take a look at my uploaded videos so this is the draft to digital page and what you need to do is after you've already uploaded your book before you hit publish, because what you want to do is you want to have a strategy whereby your book is first on Amazon. And, and then after that, you can just go to draft to digital and uh, hit the publish button over there. So once you get onto this page, you get the information and everything set up and you go to edit book. I wanted to show you uh, how you would actually get this. See, once, uh, once you've uploaded all the information with regards to your book, the metadata and the manuscript and cover, you see how it has all these three buttons. So with Amazon, you want to download the Mobi preview and it'll be downloaded onto your computer. And this is the file that you will actually use to upload onto your Amazon page. So going forward, let's say I want to have this book, Forgotten Mystery, published on Amazon today. So the next thing I'll do is I'll go through one by one all the different things that I need to make sure that I've already submitted. Once you hit the uh, continue button on the book, you have to make sure that you've already filled out all the necessary information and you keep on clicking save and continue. Make sure you check everything before you save and continue so that you can go on to the next page. And this will bring you on to the e Kindle ebook content page. Once you get to the Kindle content page, you just scroll through and make sure that everything is as you would want it to be. And then you go on to the next page, which will take you to the pricing page. And one more thing before you continue with the publishing uh, steps, you just need to go through your Kindle to just to make sure that everything is as you would want it to look if you look at the little bar here it says you can see it in a tablet format a phone format or the kindle e-reader -re format so you can have a quick look as to how people would actually see the book on a phone and a, a few tips i wanted to share also with you is that before you upload your book you need to go through each page just to make sure that everything looks fine because sometimes it looks fine on one device. It may not look fine on another device. Assuming this is your first book, the best thing for you to do is to build your readership. A great way to do this is for you to have a book whereby you can give away as a reader magnet or a lead magnet. And for instance, in my situation, I have my first book free, which is a long novel about, I don't know, a hundred thousand words or something. It's called Keeper of Rain and I give it away free. And so you put this free book at the back of your book. And in fact, do it also at the front of the book, just where the front matter is. So this is, you want to add like all the other books. If you have other books, you make sure that you have them all placed in this area here and, and the, the links are clickable. Now, two things I want you to realize is if you can see here, I have each link, they're clickable and it will actually take you to an Amazon page, which is good. But if you are also doing this for other platforms as well, you need to make sure that you have several files. One file is just for Amazon, whereby the links will bring you back to the Amazon pages and another file for the other e-readers. You might want to do them separately, but at the beginning, you just do two, that'll be fine. One is for the other e-readers, whereby these are not clicking to any Amazon page because of course they won't like it if you are advertising for Amazon, especially not Barnes and Noble and also Kobo and definitely iBooks won't allow you to do this. So once it's all done and you're happy with what, what you have and what you like, you just make sure that you continue with the setup. As you continue with the setup, you again make sure that before you hit the publish button that everything is as you want. And I mentioned very briefly that um, 
you have an option of having the 35% royalty or the 70% royalty if your price is between $299 and $999. But as you can see here, it says that my book size is 4.17 MB. And because of the size of the book, Amazon didn't give me a choice. I would just only get the 35% royalty. And so Amazon basically makes that decision for you. So you have to bear this in mind and make sure that your book does not have too many images as I have mine, but my book is a children's book and I wanted it that way. And so you may be in the same position as I am, but um, this is where you say publish your Kindle book. And what will happen is that Amazon will save your information. And once it's all done, they will email you and let you know that your book will be ready in about 24 to 72 hours. And a page like this will come up. Congratulations, Forgotten Mystery, Princesses of Shadwick Castle Series 2, Princess Ballerina Book 5. And then it also gives you the option to publish your book as a paperback. But I would not go this route for two reasons. Number one is um, you might not be able to see what the final result will be like after the paperback has been printed. And also create space is really not that difficult to use and you have better control over there. So you start your paperback now. And of course, I don't have that option to do this because I have an illustrated book. And so if your book has a lot of complicated formatting and graphs and charts, you don't want to go down this route either. I hit the close button and that's about it. And I will do you another video on how to upload your manuscript onto Create Space so that you can have your paperback book and your hardcover book um, on Amazon. So that's it for today. If you found my videos helpful, please subscribe to my Emma Wright TV channel so I can record more useful tutorials for your author journey. And aside from how to's, I also intend to create videos on the business side of being an author. Check out my yourauthorbusiness.com site. Subscribe there for my free email tutorials that will complement these videos. Uh, be sure to leave your comments below and ask questions about becoming an indie author. Till next time, goodbye.